What is going on you guys? Alex here with T-Sportline bringing you another Tesla video. Today we're going to be showcasing our T-Sportline replacement badges. We're going to be showing you how to properly remove badges from your vehicle without doing any damage and how to prep and clean for installation of replacement badges. We're working on this Model S plaid today and what we're going to do is remove the chrome plaid badge and we're going to replace it with a black plaid badge. We're also going to be adding this black space balls badge. And the first thing we're gonna need to do is get everything really clean. Cleanliness is gonna be the key to success here. So real quick, let's take a look at the materials we're gonna be using today. We've got our chrome and black plaid badges. We've also got the space balls badge available in chrome and black. We've got some car wash supplies to help us wash the car, a bucket, soap and water, and a mitt. And we have some fishing line. This is gonna help us remove the emblems off the car. We've got some masking tape to help us line up our emblems when we're putting them on. So let's go ahead and get into washing the car and get started. All right, so I'm just gonna start with our soap and water and our wash mitt and just wash the air where we're gonna be working today. All right, I'm just gonna dry this with some microfiber towels. I'm gonna make sure everything is 100% dry before you start working. All right, so now that we've got everything clean, the first thing we're gonna need to do before we remove this badge is we're gonna to wanna to mark its position so we can put the new badge in the same location. And how we're gonna do this is we're gonna take some masking tape and run a piece along the bottom edge of the badge. And we wanna make sure it's not touching the badge, but just really close to that bottom edge. We're also gonna take a piece of tape and run it along the back edge. Same thing, not touching, just real close to that back edge. And now when we go to put our new badge on, we can just line it up with this L-shaped bracket here and it will be in the same location. All right, so before we get started here, we wanted to note if you're planning on doing this after vinyl wrapping your car, you're not gonna be able to do the tape method here. You're gonna wanna measure the distance from the taillight to the badge and from the edge of the deck lid to the badge before you remove it and do your wrap. Okay, so we're gonna get started removing these badges and we've got two products here that you can use. We've got our fishing line, and we've also got some dental floss. If you don't have fishing line, the dental floss will actually work. So I'm just gonna take some of this dental floss and we're gonna use that today. So what you're gonna wanna do is pull it tight, and we're just gonna slip this behind one of the letters, and we're just gonna start working this back and forth. You can kinda saw back and forth, but this is actually just gonna cut through that tape, and we're gonna pull these letters right off. Just like that. So just a reminder while doing this, definitely don't use any metal tools like a screwdriver. You wanna to stick to the dental floss or the fishing line method to take these off. So once you get the badge off, you're most likely gonna be left with some of this residual tape. And there's gonna be a lot of different ways you can take this off. But one of the easiest and less abrasive to the car is just gonna be using your finger and maybe even your fingernail if you need to. And you can just work this tape in one direction with your finger and it should start to bunch up. And you can actually just kind of roll it off by doing this. All right, this is about as good as I can get it with just my finger. There's still a very small amount of adhesive on there and I'm just gonna use some wax and grease remover to finish cleaning this up. All right, so we've got our badge here. And how this works is we've got a clear transfer tape on the front. The letters are gonna stay stuck to this. This is what's gonna help you apply it to the vehicle. So what we're gonna do is carefully peel the white backing off and we wanna make sure our letters stay on the clear transfer tape. So take your time when you're doing this. Really be careful peeling the white off because you don't want those letters to move. So now with our clear transfer tape, we can easily line up these letters with our tape marks. So I'm just gonna line it up like that and stick it down. 
give it a firm press to make sure it's on there. And then you can just pull your clear transfer tape off. And remove your tape. And you got a nice clean badge install. All right, now we've got this installed. You can just give it a little press to make sure it's on there good. But the last thing we're gonna do is just give this a quick wipe off with our wash mitt just to clean our work area. We've got some fingerprints and maybe clean off some residual wax and grease remover and stuff like that. Now that we've got that cleaned up, we've got a perfect looking badge installed. It looks like it came from the factory this way. Okay, so we're getting ready to do our Spaceballs badge on the other side of the car, but the first thing we did was we wanna try and line this up in a similar location as our plaid badge. So we've got our masking tape set up here and we're using inch and a half wide masking tape. And what we did was run a vertical line down from the tail light right here by the reverse light. And then we're on the bottom, we're following this body line here. And we're just gonna place our badge right in this corner here on this side. All right, now that we've got our tape set up here as a guide for where we're gonna place our badge, first we need to clean our area with wax and grease remover again. And we wanna make sure that's completely dry before we proceed. So installing this badge is gonna be pretty simple. You've got your 3M tape on the back side. We're just gonna need to peel this red backing and we're gonna stick it right here in our template with this tape. I'm just gonna line this up in the corner. and give it a nice firm press. All right, so that's gonna do it for our install of the T-Sport line badges on our Tesla Model S Plaid here. If you wanna check these out for yourself, you can do that at tsportline.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you're not already, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever we post new videos. We've got lots more Tesla content coming very soon. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.